So yesterday, we received some insane news about the next phase of Apex Legends Mobile. This includes the next open beta, the iOS version, available countries, and even brand new social media official channels being made. Prepare yourself, boys, because things are about to heat up. Should we get into it? Let's go. So welcome back to another video on Apex Legends Mobile. Now, we've all been waiting for any news that basically brings us closer to the global launch of Apex Legends Mobile. But before we start, I've been speaking to Loba and Watson, and they actually said if you hit a like and subscribe and comment down below, then they're actually open to taking you guys on a free date to uh, Kings Canyon, so you know what to do, boys. Anyway, moving on. So the fourth and final closed beta just finished, and if you actually go and check the app store now for Apex Legends Mobile, you are no longer allowed to pre-register, which means that the next thing to come is the open beta. Now, an open beta basically allows more countries to play the game and shows what regions will be available when global comes. Me and my friend Imo have researched really hard for you guys and we've actually found out that there is currently a Chinese private beta happening right now. Unfortunately, it only lets a select few people into it, but according to the info that we found, it's sized at 7.4 gigabytes, which includes Kings Canyon, Olympus, and a load of skins. These are all separate downloads, similar to how sort of Call of Duty mobile do it. We found that Olympus was actually removed yesterday from the private beta as it seems that it, you know it's quite laggy and the devs need more time to work on it but in terms of the overall size ready for global version it will be reduced from 7.4 gigabytes because again that is a, a big big you know gigabyte for a mobile game most games come around two to three gigabytes but 7.4 yeah right i would make you guys a tutorial on how to get into the private beta but it seems as though the applications have now finished but don't worry because what i'm about to show you next will blow your minds check out this image right here that me and imo found regarding the next phase for apex mobile starting from the top apex legends mobile the next beta is an open beta and it will include the ios version so get your ipads get your iphones ready boys but only if the internal tests are successful which i think they will be the countries included in this in the next open beta are eu na japan india korea and indonesia this will pretty much be all of the servers in the game available to play on uh, we found out that there will be two different versions of the game as well so one is the global version which we'll all be playing on and then there is also a chinese version of the game which will get updated and bring out stuff before the global version call of duty mobile do this and basically it helps players see what's coming to the global version before it actually does in each season so this is great obviously because we all know apex brings out you know each season new exciting legends weapons um so we'll basically be able to log on to the chinese version and get hints of that before they come to the global version which is insane now moving on as well there will be some official apex legends mobile socials launching later this month beginning of november which will include twitter youtube facebook and instagram which is about time actually because you know a lot of you guys will agree i've mentioned this in a lot of my videos before we've had pretty much no marketing for the game globally and not even you know a solid trailer as well we haven't even had a trailer for the game which sucks because when you see games like PUBG New State doing so well with marketing and putting out loads of content and getting everyone hyped up for the game Apex just seems non-existent on socials so it's pretty good that we're getting those finally also as well some really exciting news i know a lot of us have been bummed about third person being available in ranked mode so there will actually be a survey soon once the socials come out which will basically um give you the option to uh, remove third person and bots from ranked mode which is good we've been pushing for this for a very long time and it's nice to see that the developers are listening to the community most gaming developers for mobile games pretty much do their own thing and you know take little to no feedback feedback from the actual players of the game so if respawn play their cards right then we're really going to have an incredible mobile game now next as mentioned there will be no more closed beta tests and we also found out that the trailer has been completed as well as official tournaments for the game confirmed again we should see this trailer in november once all of the official socials are up and running the official youtube channel will probably be the first one to post a trailer after this next open beta which should last for just over a month we will 
will be getting a soft launch for the game, which is pretty much needed for every single mobile game. I've mentioned this to you guys before. A soft launch is basically the global version of the game with all of the global assets and all of the, the stuff included from global, uh, which is only available in select countries, which still gives the developers, you know, access to update the game and get it really polished before the global version. And it also gives us guys access to log in with our Facebook accounts and anything like that to save our data without it resetting because you know the last four betas we played and we've grinded and all of our data has been wiped so for the open beta i'm not quite sure if you'll be able to save your data in this next open beta but for soft launch after that you definitely will be now lastly a few smaller updates we found is that loba rampart and horizon have been added to the game for testing however it's unconfirmed whether they will be included in the open beta or the soft launch and in terms of maps we are going to get all three maps as well as an exclusive one only available for the mobile version but that's also unconfirmed and yeah there's no sort of release date for that yet but we're going to get an all three maps and an unconfirmed one as well that's pretty much all the info i have for you guys today but i've actually made a brand new timeline just here which basically puts everything everything into perspective from all this news we found out starting on october we will obviously have the open beta then moving on to december around december time we will have the soft launch and depending on how much work the developers actually need to do to polish off the game we can expect the global version to follow anywhere in January or February, but bear in mind it could take longer. So the latest you can expect the global version of the game would probably be predicted around March or April. So get excited, boys, because we only have a short wait until we get our hands finally on Apex Legends Mobile. I've literally been making content on this game for about a year and a half now, all the way back from when all we heard was just a small rumor that it was coming to mobile. So I hope you all stick with me. I've given you so much news going forward and it's going to be a long long journey at least you know three years minimum of putting out banger content for this game so again if you enjoyed this video and all this news and you are hyped as me right now then smash a like hit a subscribe and comment down below if you're buzzing also don't forget to follow me over on twitter as well for any new updates before the youtube videos actually get posted and that's everything, boys. So again, get hyped. We only have a short wait until the open beta next month. Get ready for socials. Get ready for everything. I can't believe this game is so close to being released. Again, I've been waiting for so long. But again, I'm here for you, boys, if you're here for me. So thank you very much. And I will catch you, boys, in the next video.